Oh, oh, ra! Today's transmission, why trying to get out of debt is the worst thing you could possibly do for you and the world. Let's go. My name is Preston Smiles and I help people get free from the inside out regardless of their external circumstances. Woo! Let's go. And today we're going to be talking about something juicy, something magical, something amazing. And it is really the distinction between expansion versus contraction. Expansion mm, versus contraction. Now, uh, this is a huge juicy subject that could take months, days. There are books written on this subject. And so I'm going to do my best to take a stab or a swipe at it in the next three to five minutes. But I want you to know that you get to pull this apart with me as well. So uh, I'm only really three requests. Number one is click that like button. Click that red subscribe if you are new to the family, new to the Love's Voice, Love's Voice family. Shouldn't do the high notes. Um, do that and then please leave a comment below with whatever lands and resonates for you and here's why. Uh, when we listen to something passively, uh, it lands at some level, but when we write out, when we specifically take time to type or write out what landed for us, it literally lands deeper in the subconscious mind. And remember, most of our thoughts and our actions are coming from the subconscious mind. So you just want to chip away like Michelangelo with the David in that sense. So uh, let's go back to the subject matter. And that is if you are trying to get out of debt, it is an issue that I would like to talk you out of. And here's why. We only get what we think about most. And so if you're thinking about and being consumed by the idea of getting out of debt, uh, more than likely you are in contraction thinking and you are going to attract more debt for the rest of your life let alone for this month or this year. What I've come to realize, and I'm a nobody, right? I'm just isness dancing, um, known as Preston Smiles. And for those of you who know some of my story, eight and a half years ago, I was living in my mom's extra spare room and I just bought her a half a million dollar house and another one for myself and um, experiencing uh, quite the abundance. And so. I'm just speaking from my experience, I, you know, who am I? And maybe there's a morsel in here. Maybe there's something you can take from the mindset. Uh, I've been blessed with the opportunity to hang with and be around people who are extremely wealthy when it comes to finances and people who are wealthy simultaneously when it comes to uh, abundance of life. And those people, self-included, have something in common we do not do not allow ourselves to be taken by the lack and limitation scarcity virus of the mind that is being sold to us. Everything you learned in school for the most part is bull crap and we get to rethink and relearn how to be with the concept of money and abundance and a part of it is understanding that we are walking talking magnets. We are walking talking prayers. So it's not what you pray for, it's what you pray from. And everything is a prayer. So if I'm walking and talking from the, from the space of abundance, if I'm walking and talking knowing that there is quote unquote debt, rich people have lots of debt, lots of it. They don't use their own money. Hear me, let this land. Lots of debt. But if I don't allow that to consume me or to believe, just put all my focus on trying to get out of that thing, but I use that lockstep for the purpose and the mission and the vision to give back to the planet, then I cannot and will not be stopped because I'm in the pocket. I am in the pocket. Ooh. Let the church, and by church I mean YouTube and wherever you're watching this, say amen. Hey woman, let's 
go. Blessings and blessings. I'm gonna stop right there. Just, just let me know. Let me know what's landing. Let me know what's present. If you think what I just shared is bull crap, please tell me. Explain it. Help a brother out. Um, and you know, there's many ways to skin a vegan cat. And so we're not skinning actual cats, but you know what I mean. Blessings and blessings. Comment below. Thumbs up. Red subscribe button. I appreciate you so much. It's so good to be alive. Isn't it? Isn't it?